Hi, I'm Kelly with the Muncie Public Library, and today I'm going to be reading about a person from Brave Black First, 50 plus African American women who changed the world by Cheryl Willis Hudson. Carla Hayden stepped alongside four-year-old Dahlia Maria Arana and congratulated her on reading more than a thousand books. As she encouraged Dahlia, the 2017 Library of Congress Librarian for a Day, Carla reflected on her own journey as a historian, a public children's librarian, a college professor, the CEO of the Baltimore Library System, and the 14th United States Librarian of Congress, the first woman and the first African American to serve in this prestigious position, and the first professionally trained librarian to be appointed to lead the Library of Congress in over 60 years. Carla calls herself the accidental librarian because she took what she thought was a temporary job at a small storefront branch library in Chicago after graduate studies at the University of Chicago, Carla earned influential positions at several leading libraries, including the Chicago Public Library, where she first met Barack and Michelle Obama, the University of Pittsburgh, where she served as an assistant professor for the Library of in Information Science, the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore, Maryland, where she was named the only the second African-American CEO, and finally achieved the position of librarian in chief overseeing the entire operation of the Library of Congress with more than 3,149 full-time employees, 838 miles of shelving, and 167 million volumes of books, manuscripts, photos, maps, sheet music, recordings, and book-related items. She is the leader of the nation's and the world's largest library. She often mentions her favorite childhood book, Bright April, written by Margaret D'Angeli in 1946 about a young African-American brownie scout who turns a racist encounter into an opportunity for friendship. It meant so much for Carla to read a book about a girl who looked like her. Carla's early passion for reading would later develop into a mission for libraries to serve as a gateways to information and to keep libraries relevant by using technology to make books accessible to the widest possible audience of readers. The first librarian of Congress to use Twitter Carla is actively involved in creating the libraries of the future by utilizing strategic digital planning, online engagement, podcast, increased digital access to special collections, live streaming, mobile apps, and programs such as Ask a Librarian. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. If you want more books like this, then you can check out the Muncie Public Library webpage.